You know, it's a crime that's on the decline. Carjackings we're talking about. They are down in Baltimore compared to this same time last year. But some neighborhoods are still concerned after more than two dozen carjackings have happened within the last few weeks. WMER 2 News' Brittany Verner spoke with people from multiple communities who have been impacted by this issue. Canton Square is just one community that has experienced a violent carjacking recently in their neighborhood. Now people who live around here say they're counting on city leaders to turn it around. Carjacking is an issue that's been spreading across Baltimore City and County, impacting different neighborhoods. Does it make you concerned about driving in the city? Honestly, yeah. So far this year, police say carjackings are down 34% compared to last year. However, near Canton Square, Jeffrey Tyree is another person directly impacted by a violent carjacking. Like I said, I only had the car for a week. The car was perfect. After his uncle, 57-year-old Daryl Benner, was killed almost two weeks ago while trying to stop thieves from taking his nephew's car. That's not fair to us. You know, we work hard for everything that we got. I miss him so, so much. It's just unfortunate that he had to go the way he did. Tyree had his car returned last Monday with some of the extensive damage serving as a permanent reminder of how he lost his uncle. It's got two bullet holes in it, one above the driver's side door on the inside and then one outside the passenger side. I'm surprised that that one, that bullet hole right there didn't shatter my windshield. So far this year, there have been 338 carjackings compared to 471 last year this time. And as of August 28th, there have been 63 carjackings within the month. Police gave tips concerning how to prevent becoming a victim of a carjacking, including keeping windows rolled up and doors locked while driving, trying to remain in well-lit areas while parking, checking your mirrors regularly, and not leaving any valuables visible, just to name a few. However, those directly impacted already are hopeful city leaders will do something different and more pressure is applied when these criminals are caught. Stop smacking them on the wrist, give them a, a sentence. I would trade that car in just to have him back. Honestly, the car is not worth, you know, the amount of the pain and misery that everybody has to go through, you know, without him being here. It's just not the same. We just want these guys to turn themselves in. You know, all can be forgiven. Just do the right thing. To learn more tips on how Baltimore police say you can potentially prevent yourself from becoming the next victim of a carjacking, visit our website at WMAR2news.com. Brittany Verner, WMAR2news.